Uh-oh, guys. I think I made the dinosaur mad. I think it's time I take him out. Hey, bros. Today I've got two things to unbox for you. First is the Nerf Dino Squad Stego Smash. And this is the third blaster of the Nerf Dino Squad series. And then we've got two inflatable targets, zombies and aliens. So let's start with the Nerf Stego Smash. Here's the front of the package. You can see the blaster and it says that comes with five darts. And here's the back of the package. All right, so let's open it up. So in the packaging, you get the blaster and you get the five darts. I didn't see any instructions, but I don't really think you need any anyways. So let's start with the darts. They're basically Nerf Instruct Elite darts with the green tips and the bluish green bodies. And I think they're pretty cool. And now the blaster. This is a single shot front loading blaster. You've got one space here to load your dart in the barrel, and then you've got four storage spaces in front. And with the darts in, it looks like that. So the blaster basically has this Stegosaurus theme. You've got the eye here, and you've kind of got the Stegosaurus body, and you've got the Stegosaurus bones on top. And then the priming handle has this kind of tail shape to it. Since this is a themed blaster, there's nothing tactical about it. I guess, except maybe you could say a, a hand guard here, but I don't still think you would call that tactical. So there are no tactical rails. There are no sling mounts. And that's basically it. All you have to do is pull the priming handle back and fire. And it's just that simple. This probably has about Nerf and Strike Elite power, but let's chrono it and check it out. 74.1, 76 76.6, 75.2, 75.1, and 75.4. So the high was 76.6, the low was 74.1, and the average is 75.3. So basically the average is about 75. And I think the average for in-strike elite guns generally is about 70. So we're getting about five FPS over that. So I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. All right, so now let's check out the two pack of our inflatable targets. I got these because I wanted a new target to shoot at in the videos. So I hope they're pretty cool. All right, from the packaging, it looks like it comes with extra patches here in case you get a hole in them. And it looks like this one's got some too. And I think um, one of these is supposed to be zombies and one of these is supposed to be aliens. And I think they're supposed to be about 36 inches tall or about three feet. Or if you're on the metric system, about a meter tall. All right, so let me inflate these and then I'll show them to you. All right, bros, here are the targets inflated. Uh, one thing is they're printed on both sides. As you can see, this alien, and it actually has a different alien on this side. And they have little targets with numbers on them, as you can see here. And here. And then obviously this one is the zombie and it's basically the same thing as this one. And it is also printed on the other side with a different alien. Now, one thing you have to do is you have to put water in the bottom and there's a separate hole for it here. If you don't put the water in the bottom, they just fall over. So it's necessary that you do that. And actually these stand up pretty good because when they get hit by a dart, I mean, and I'm kind of probably hitting them harder than a dart would, they don't fall down. And for shorter players, they could probably hide behind these and use these as a bunker as well. I got these on Amazon for about 16 bucks. So for two of these on Amazon, for that price, I think it's good. All right, so let's go field test this blaster. First, I'm gonna shoot this little target. First, I'm going to do a range test of this blaster by shooting that garage door over there. It's about 60 feet away.
Now I'm going to do a long distance accuracy test by shooting at that dinosaur. It's about 40 feet away. Uh oh guys, I think I made the dinosaur mad. I think it's time I take him out. All right, bros, so here are my final thoughts on this blaster. First of all, the power of this blaster was better than expected. I would say the average range is about 60 to 70 feet, and I would say the accuracy is about average. Yeah, maybe even a little better than average, it's hard to really say. It is kind of weird aiming this gun because of the bones here. You know, you don't really have a front or rear sight, and you just kind of, kind of got a weird peripheral vision type of aiming that you do. But once you kind of get it down, it's pretty good. If this blaster is something you want to use regularly in a competitive Nerf war, um, I'm not really sure about it because you can't really put it in a holster or you can't put it on a sling. But if you like dinosaurs or you like collecting Nerf blasters, then I recommend this. Also, if you want something that shoots well and is fun, then I recommend this too. All right, guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Abu Omar09. The next shout out goes to SML Parodies Channel. The next shout out goes to Brianna the Bird. The next shout out goes to Skullface Plays. The next shout out goes to Roman Zastani. The next shout out goes to Jay Signs. The next shout out goes to Braylon Gaming. The next shout out goes to Blessed Truly. The next shout out goes to Sunny Salonga. The next shout out goes to Chandler World with Braylon. The next shout out goes to Aviation 767. The next shout out goes to Not Mingbo. The next shout out goes to Noob Galaxy 101 Forever Boy. The next shout out goes to Jesus. The next shout out goes to Lil Cory Plays. The next shout out goes to Ruka Sarishina. The next shout out goes to A. The next shout out goes to B. The next shout out goes to C. The next shout out goes to Freestyle. The next shout out goes to JD Vlogs. The next shout out goes to Marcus's Life. The next shout out goes to Just Cole. The next shout out goes to The Gamer Error 101. The next shout out goes to Jaden Doge. The next shout out goes to SBSP The Loud House South Park and Lego Ninjago Fanatic 2004. The next shout out goes to Tyreek Ricketts. The next shout out goes to Terrence Bailey. The next shout out goes to Wayne Elliott. The next shout out goes to Fernando Greeb. The next shout out goes to Nerf Master. The next shout out goes to Megalodon Skateboarding. The next shout out goes to Luis Flores. The next shout out goes to Kenny Dam. The next shout out goes to Harper's Happy Place. The next shout out goes to It's Airbus. Hey bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want a shout out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy, peace out.